What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode. So, in the last episode we collected our new, new to us car trailer. And I have cleaned it up. So there is actually not a lot of problems with the paintwork, other than the rims peeling a little bit of paint. But I am quite pleased with that. And while I was cleaning this, I also cleaned up the Caprice again. Because that uh, was quite dirty from my Uncle Bob driving it on the Sawmalls gravel road. And then I also went to pick up our little grain trailer. I just finished cleaning it up a bit. And I also did the detailing on the GMC. So would you look at that. It actually came out much better than I thought. So yeah, that'll hopefully be uh, a little bit more attractive to the next uh, owner of the vehicle because I will probably be getting rid of this not well not too long from now depends on what we are able to get because you guys know I am in the market for a pickup truck all right so getting back to that you may have already noticed that our combine header has arrived um, so yeah I just hooked up the trailer to the little tractor here and pulled it in. I have not worked on our little gravel track back here yet. I haven't continued yet. I will do that soon. But I am quite excited to say that we have a header for our combine. Now it's not the same color as our combine but that is fine as long as it works. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me. So what I'm going to do is I want to put it onto our combine and see what it, well, how it does and if everything works on it, which I'm sure it will. I believe this should start up. Oh no. All right, yeah, this hasn't run in quite some time. Let me just... Um, Try that again. Alright. Should probably just let it warm up a bit. Alright, so let's just leave that to warm up a bit. While I tell you guys about my next adventure. Well, venture that I'm going to try. So... Remember that I said I will be starting a car dealership at some point and I have decided to, well, start somewhere which means I will be maybe buying my first car that I will be reselling. So there are quite a few options. Um, I have made some appointments for today so we can go ahead and look at maybe one or two of them. Uh, the first one I will be looking at is the Jaguar which has got the engine noise problem and transmission problem. So they said it's fine I can pick the car up. It is sort of moving at the moment. So it can go into first gear obviously or well not first gear it will go into drive but it doesn't shift so it just stays in the one gear. And it does go into reverse a little, but they say it is a, a lot of noise coming from the differential when it does. So it might be safe just to get it up onto our trailer and to transport it to the dealership where I'm going to have a, a mechanic look at it for us. So yeah, that is on the agenda for today. As well as remember the little white um, Land Rover we saw in the bush? I did go and speak to the owner there of the vehicle and he says well he didn't even think about selling it because it's to him it's just uh, it's like a wreck standing there but I don't know we'll go and have a look and see if it starts up at all maybe it does maybe it doesn't so who knows all right so let's try and hook up our header to the combine and if everything is fine we'll maybe clean it up a bit and move everything back in the shed and then we can be on our way. All right. Ah, no problem at all. This combine 
is actually very smooth for such an old combine. Alright, so let us get this connected up. Uh, maybe I'm not lined perfectly. It must be dead center for this. Yeah, there we go. Alright, yeah, almost thought for a moment that it's not going to attach. Hoses, and I believe that is everything. Let's just see what it does now. Right, it does go down. Hmm. Alright, so, I don't know if the PTO is connected up. Oh, that's the hoses. Ah, there we go. Alright, now we should be in business. Alright, that should work perfectly just get this drop back onto the trailer right so obviously these hoses we need to disconnect again and there we go and once again I cannot see anything behind me but I'm sure we will be okay as long as I use the uh, shed and the greenhouse as a reference Alright, let me just close up that cover there on top. Alright. Yeah, that looks fine. Not too bad at all. Right now... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the header close to the pressure washer. See if I can get the header and the trailer cleaned up a bit. And then we'll try and maneuver it back into the shed. Well, not back into the shed, but into the shed for the first time since it came to our farm. Right, that should do. All right, seems to be cleaning up quite nicely. Get this trailer cleaned up a bit as well. Looks like it's been sitting quite some time wherever it came from. You can get this gravel out of the tires over here. Yeah, that looks much better. I'm quite happy with that looks very very good actually all right now let me just pop this back on here all right so let me see how am I going to go about this hmm right so <clears throat> it is quite a long trailer but I think we should manage these motion sensors are probably going to go crazy now. But that should be fine. Alright, let's see. 
Hopefully that motion sensor picks it up. Right, are we gonna clear the gate over there? No, we are not. Let's see if we can get this maneuvered in here. That's that looks promising. Now I'm not sure if this is going to fit very well. I didn't measure it before. So we need to go that bit. And we can go that bit, yes. I believe it should work. So this means this whole far side of the shed will be used up by the header and the header trailer only. I believe that'll be fine. Let's see. Yes, we are in. Alright, let's drop that trailer down. And there we have it. One brand new to us header for our combine. Right now just park our little trailer into the shed as well I think I'll just pull it in there for now until I have decided where I'm going to put it so that it's out of the way of all the other implements all right so connect that up cables all right wonder if that uh, shed is going to close or if that header trailer is going to trigger it now constantly. That is fine for now. I'm not going to be tr too pedantic about that at the moment. Alright, let's get this parked up here. trailer at all oh, it's quite heavy all right so all right let's just close this up see if this one will close and that one will close there we go all right I'm quite pleased with that Now we shall hook up to our car trailer because I would like to go and pick up that Jaguar or Jag for short. Alright, using my old trick here. Alright, yo. Yeah, I didn't show you guys the the electric ramps. So that actually pops out and lifts the trailer up slightly, which makes loading vehicles much easier. So yeah, I can't wait to use it actually. Alright, so let's get these doors shut. Alright, let's get going. Incoming. Well, we might need both lanes to be clear over here. Alright, 
right, so we'll take a nice wide turn out of here. All right, and off we are. So what I'll do is I will probably drop the Jaguar off on the trailer at the dealership and then they can have a look at it on their own time and I will just pick up the trailer once they have done with the car and hopefully we will be able to go and pick it up at the later stage and drive it home. Right, so here we are. They told me that it does fire up, so there is a not a fresh battery but a charged battery in it at least. Let's get these ramps down. And let's see if we can get the Jaguar loaded up to our little trailer. This is a very brown interior indeed. Oh, I suppose that's how these cars were made. Actually, it doesn't sound too bad. Right, let's try this. First, uh, is that? I believe that is drive. It is moving, but yeah, I can hear a lot of squeaking. All right, let's. All right, reverse actually sounds better. if this thing will load up onto the trailer if it will go on under its own steam also let me just hop out make sure I am lined up yeah not too bad just keep going forward we'll be okay don't know if we are on yeah that'll do Let's switch this off. All right. Suppose I could go back slightly. Oh, fires up once again. No problem. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe just some serviceable parts. Civil serviceable parts needs to be changed on this. Then it'll be running much better, much smoother. It's got a tow hitch as well. Oh, I wonder what, yeah, what they towed with this vehicle. Anyway, let's uh, head towards the dealership. Get those ramps stuck in and let's be off. So I already paid the mechanic for looking over the Jaguar for us. So basically it's a diagnostic service fee. And then they will come back to us with a quotation for doing the necessary repairs. If it can be done for that matter. Right, let's see. 
Let's see. Oh, I see this Amarok is also parked here now. That's the one that I think was in a flood. Alright, well, let's be off. Let's not hold up any traffic here. I must say, towing with the GMC, I don't really know about anything behind me at all. So it's got a quite a bit of power actually. Right, hopefully we can get up this hill no problem. I'm sure we won't have any trouble. Yeah, she's still coming along. Right, so... pulling to here and I think what I'll do is I'll just park it off to the side here I see they have sold quite a bit of vehicles here and they are some new vehicles we can maybe have a quick look there Let's just get this disconnected like such and yeah, they can have a look at it then. I do want to have a look at that um, Unimark over there, because I believe that is a Unimark. What a machine. My goodness. It seems to be in good condition as well. Yeah, maybe one day we'll own something like that. Now this... I think this was the guy that lives next door's old pickup truck. And if I'm not mistaken, I did see this VW pickup earlier on. I can't remember where exactly. Uh, the Chevy Malibu has been here for quite some time. And they do have a second-hand Zeta tractor here. I think that makes sense because it's a Zeta dealership. Anyway, so let's head off and go and have a look at that Land Rover so the owner of the Land Rover he doesn't really have a lot of information for us about the vehicle so I guess whatever we'll see is what we will find out once we get there Alright, it's just a little bit further up the road. Is this the place? I believe this is the house. Let's see here. Alright, I think it should be fine if we just park over to the side and walk around here yeah I think it'll be fine here all right let's hop out and walk around and have a look at this thing
Yeah, this is the guy where we bought the fertilizer spreader from. Alright, so... Can't really see much. Alright, let's see if we can hop into it. Yeah, this thing is... It's very dirty. Well, I think we do have power. Let's see what happens. Interesting. Hmm. Let's try that one more time. It's kind of running. Now the question is, will it move? Let's try reverse first. Oh, the brakes are binding quite badly actually let's try forward yeah I don't know maybe if you drive it a little bit it'll loosen up even the steering is quite stiff on it and there's almost no brakes the brake pedal goes all the way to the floor so ah uh, i don't really know is this a risk we we should try and take think about it I'll I'll chat to him and see what he what he wants for it. At least I have now moved it somewhat out of the bush it was parked in. Alright so yeah that's a lot of things to to think about. Alright well I think what I'll do is I will head home and take it a bit easy start thinking about a couple of things do some maths uh, it all depends on what the uh, dealership will say about the Jaguar right so just try and get back into the street here Right, luckily the house isn't far from here. Alright, let's use our new work in progress off-road track here. Little dirt track. Uh, it's quite a bit bumpy over here but we'll see once we start digging out the grass if we can level it out a bit all right so i think let me park it up over here should do all right so what an eventful day so we have a header for our combine we went to look at the little Land Rover that we saw and also we picked up the Jaguar on our new used car trailer so that was quite a lot we've done today and I think this is where I'm going to leave this episode. So thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate every view, every like. And please subscribe to the channel for more videos. Until the next time, goodbye.